Hi everyone, it's Steph here from The Novelty Corner and I thought I would do a bit of a January check-in for my digital book journal since people were quite interested in it and I know it's becoming more popular. For those of you who haven't seen it, this is my digital book journal. I'm using GoodNotes um, and this is a planner. I've forgotten who's made the planner. I'll leave a link to it down below. I've forgotten the name of the group that designed it, but I did get this one off Etsy and it is just a regular digital planner that I have converted. Um, but I thought I would show you how I have adjusted some of the things that I was doing when I first set this up and did a bit of a, a walkthrough because some things have changed a little bit. Let's get the pen out. Okay, so these are all just the standard pages at the front of the book that just shows how to use it. Okay, so I don't really do anything with the year at a glance page, but there is a yearly overview which just has space for each month of the year and I'm using this to track readathons that are coming up so that I know what's coming ahead which I find really useful. This planner comes with a stack of different yearly calendars and I am finding different ways to use all of them. This one has important dates and this is sort of like a future log and I'm using this one to track book releases for each month. I haven't put everything in for the year yet. I'm sort of going one to two months ahead and just keeping track of whether or not I have read the books that I was anticipating. And then there is this quarterly overview and I'm using this one to track planner videos. So anytime I get an idea for a planner video, I just jot it down where I think it will go and I can move things around if I need to. Um, I did add in a YouTube subscriber tracker. I am currently sitting on something like 2,433 subscribers. So I decided to create my own one. This one was kind of inspired by Brie from In Love and Words YouTube tracker. Hers looks a little bit different and I know that she shared it I think with Izzy and maybe Tamika. I remember seeing some people using it and I just decided to make my own and have a bit of a play. I'm tracking every 10 subscribers so we shall see how much growth I get this year. I also put in another page and this is to track books ordered so that I am not double ordering, which I have a habit of doing, particularly if I'm ordering from multiple places. Uh, I do need to update this one though. This was my January spread where I was tracking the videos that I released. I do actually need to put in an extra cover here. That's because I released an extra video. So I will do that very soon. And then I had my January challenges page. The title sort of got rubbed out when I was cleaning things up before. So I had my read digital challenge here. And then every time I completed a challenge, I just added the book title in the same pattern, just so I knew which book fit which. I started with a habit tracker and I didn't really use it. So I probably won't use that in February. And then I had a brain dump page for January. And here's just where I literally throw down any ideas I have in that are related to books or bookish videos. And then we got into my book journaling. So this was the first week of January. So the tail end of December and the first week of January, I usually just put in the title, the star rating, and then some notes. Sometimes it's a summary, sometimes it's just favorite things. And depending on whether or not I read more than one book in a day or one text in a day, it will depend on how much space I have to do that. But I really like how it looks. And then sometimes I go in and I'll add in graphics if I have a bit of space. You will see at the end of this video, I will have a bit of a process, a sped up process video. So if you want to watch that, you are welcome to, but I am finding this useful and I ended up creating my own little star template. So all I have to do is copy and paste it across, which makes it easier. And this was the most recent week. And so that's the end of January. Oh. Now, if I go into February, I've set up my February monthly overview. So I've just got some stickers just for the month. And then down the left-hand side, I track books that I have to read for readathons, my NetGalley arcs and my Kindle Unlimited books, just so I remember that I've got these books to read and that these are the ones I should be reading sooner rather than later. And I've also set up the February challenges. So I have my read digital challenge. I also have my book web of Valentine's bingo board here. And I've already made a list of the books that I'm planning on reading. These can obviously change, but they're there just so that I don't forget. And then I've got my February brain dump page. And then I will go into planning for this month. 
Okay, so that's sort of the major structural stuff. And then I have three other sections, some of which you've seen the beginning of. So I have a favorite section series. So I have my Psy Changeling books because I'm currently doing the reread. I need to actually update Branded by Fire. I wonder. So what I'm doing with the side changing page is every time I do a reread, I'm just putting in the couple, the pack and the month that I read it in. And then I also started tracking my favorite heroes and heroines just out of interest from these first books. And then I'll do the same thing when I reread the side Trinity books. I haven't finished adding in books for other sections. I'm going to do one on Green Creek. I'm going to do one on Hidden Legacies. I may even change this Green Creek one to TJ Clune and just add all of his books in there. And then my next section, so section two is readathons and reading challenges. So here I have the Romanceopoly Moon Deck board, which I used in 2020 and I'm using again. And this time, because I'm doing it digitally, every time I read a, a prompt, I'm just putting in the book cover. So here for City Lane, I read Blood Air. And for one of the library challenges, which was a free choice, I've put in Looking For It by Alison Lint. And I'm also keeping track on the side just so I can remember which prompts I'm up to. I also have my TBR shelf bingo board in here. I was doing some weird complicated tracking thing. I'm going to switch this up because it's not quite working for me and I'm going to do that at the end of each month. But I also am putting in places, putting in books where I am tracking certain prompts so that I remember the titles. So I'm hoping that this will be useful, but I need to work out a system for maintaining it because I do read a lot and quite quickly. So I need to remember to either update it when I read the books or sit down and just do a batch edit at the end of every month. And then se section three is books on my radar. So this is sort of like a interested TBR from major sources. And I got this idea where I have put in all of my anticipated releases for the year and I'm just ticking them here you can see when I've read them just to be a little bit accountable in that regard I also have books from Faded Mates that I would really like to read I do have two pages for Faded Mates I have the Immortals After Dark books and the first series of podcast recommendations and then I'm including any other books that I'm interested in from other episodes um, I haven't got through all of the seasons yet to adding these covers but I have put in a lot of them um, I want to read more Nikki Sloan books this year. I'm really intrigued by her, by her books. So I have started a page for hers as well as Sarah McLean's books. And then I'll probably put in a few other authors here. So that's how I'm using my digital book journal so far this year. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. If you have any comments or questions about my process, feel free to leave them down below. So the last part of this video will just be a sped up version of me working on, I forget which layout it was in here. It was one of the January ones. Stay tuned if that's what you're interested in. Otherwise, feel free to contact me in the comments. I'm happy to chat to you about digital book journaling. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.